This episode of Tom's Top 5 is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, welcome to Tom's Top 5, where each time we meet, we count down another hot list. I'm Tom Merritt. Sci-fi on television has been suffering lately, so much so that the TV network Sci-Fi is now called Sippy or something. So we thought it would be nice to focus on the rare achievements in sci-fi television and celebrate them. Then we caught ourselves and said, eh, screw that. It's more fun to count down the top five worst sci-fi shows on TV. At number five, Siffy or Sci-Fi Weekend Movies. Now sure, seeing Tiffany fight giant piranhas appeals to me, but when taking an objective view, the good bad doesn't outweigh the god-awful bad. This show makes baby Jesus cry. <laughs> Coming in at number four, Warehouse 13. Now I actually like the stories on this show a lot, but I was outvoted by the internet. I also really like the guy who played the Toy Master in Next Generation. Although his character is a little pedo in this show. And in The Next Generation, come to think of it. Up to number three, The Prisoner Reboot. Gandalf meets The Prisoner. I was so excited for this AMC miniseries, but instead of rebooting it, they kind of turned it into a pastiche of rambling introspection into the nature of unreality. Made about as much sense as that sentence. Sliding into number two, Stargate Universe. I hold out hope for this series, but you folks on the internet are giving it a collective yawn, and the reintroduction of MacGyver doesn't seem to have done anything to wake you up. But watch the finale, it got better, I promise. Before we get to number one, time to give away some shit I have laying around my house. Answer my question on the forums at revision3.com slash Tom's Top 5, and you may be randomly drawn to win a squishy yellow light bulb, soon to be signed by Patrick Norton, I hope. Here's the question. What was Ian McKellen's first TV acting role? Hopefully the prisoner won't be his last. All right, let's get to our number one, the worst sci-fi show on TV right now. At number one, it's V. Another one I so desperately want to like. And sometimes, if you close your eyes, it is good. Uh, but then you realize it's a TV show, open your eyes, and see the apparent cardboard cutouts they used as CG effects, and the moment is ruined. Well, that's it for this edition of Top 5. Got your own list of worst? Of course you do. Get on over to the Revision 3 forums at revision3.com slash Tom's Top 5 and let us know. And while you're there, answer the stupid question to win this squishy light bulb thing. I'm Tom Merritt. See you next time. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com. Squarespace is a publishing system for anybody looking to build a blog, portfolio, business website, or any kind of website. I've done a couple of my podcasts on it, and Squarespace offers a uniquely flexible tool for just about anybody. You don't have to know a bunch of coding, all that complex stuff, although if you are a little CSS expert, you can use that. It's adaptable to your skill level. Squarespace's newly launched site importer tool makes things really easy to move over. Whether it's WordPress, Blogger, TypePad, Movable Type, it'll keep all of your UI URL structure exactly the same when you move it over. So why not give it a try? Go to squarespace.com, try it out, import your site. You'll get 14 days free when you use the code TOM5 at squarespace.com.